Hey guys, I'm still alive. I decided, hey, I need to make a video. It's been like three months. I don't really have any PC pickups here lately. Been slow, man. Bid on a few things, offered on a few things, but nothing's uh, came in. I was a little bummed. Bought a triple auto of Marino, Duper, Clayton from this year's NT. And unfortunately, got really it was really damaged when I got it, so I had to send that back. So that didn't work out. That was going to be my big pickup, one of the cards I was chasing. But yeah, like the corner was literally like, when I got it, I'm like, dude, the bottom of that card looks weird. And then I turn it over, and it's just like bit like that. Oh, I was so bummed. But. Uh, he just didn't notice it when he's, you know, because he won it in a Raz. You know, I just happened to see it. You know, he didn't really look it over. Because in the top letter, it was like, just something looks a little off. But, yeah, when I took it out, it was just bent to crap. So, that was going to be my big PC pickup. And then, uh, for the Blue Jackets PC, not much popping up. And Nick Felino I wanted finally popped up, but the guy wants 50 bucks. I'm like, you realize that's not Wayne Gretzky, it's Nick Felino. So we'll see. So not a whole lot of PC pickups. Haven't been up to much. Just work, working, eating, sleeping. But I got some group break mail in today from 2019 Majestic Football. I always kind of like Majestic. Um... You know, it's it's a hundred dollars too much a box, but it isn't everything these days. But I hit this jumbo patch, twenty five to twenty five of Benny Snell Jr. He actually uh, is selling very well because remember John, James Conner's contract up after this year, so if they don't resign him, you never know. And then I hit the RPA. Some guys' RPAs, the base can be pretty much from 49 to 199. He's a 199 guy. But a nice two color. I think he stayed on the, yeah, he stayed all on the sticker, so that's good. But uh, Majestic to me is really more about the vet content. The rookie stuff is just kind of there, it's always, it's all sticker. I can take it or leave that. But the vet content is cool. They obviously aren't making Vertex this year or anything, so they put the uh, the capstones in them this year. So that's awesome because these cards always look good. This is uh, 5 of 35. Got the Steelers, obviously. TJ Watt. This was over a course of two Steelers breaks. This wasn't just one. But 535. Like I said, they're really nice. But whoa, there you go. 535. On card auto. There are a couple stickers like uh, Duper and Clayton is in this set, and Jason Taylor's in this set. But Mark Duper is a sticker. So a sticker would take away from it a little bit. But. The on cards, now these are just basic jerseys, but not patch version. But the patch version of these are fire. I'm going to have to find me a Jason Taylor of them. And maybe even the Clayton and Duper. I don't know. We'll see. And then I hit a nice Juju to 35. These numberings vary as well. I think they go as high as 99 and as low as 10, maybe, 5 or 10, you know, for like the real top guys. Juju, nice on card. He's a beast, fan favorite. And then I also got the Chiefs in a break. And uh, obviously, you know, you can chase Mahomes, but I also noticed they had like a lot of these type of things. You know, they're short printed, but a lot of like Super Bowl dual autos and stuff. And I hit a pretty cool combo. I thought I. I did some research. They've been on one card in Impeccable. They have a duel. Because I hadn't recalled ever seeing them on a card together. But Mike Garrett and Lynn Dawson, Super Bowl teammates. 
So, very sick. It is stickers, of course, but four or five Super Bowl teammates. Not a card you see every day, so I was really pumped about that. A really neat card. So, uh, yeah, that was some group break hits. Thought I'd make a video. Football season about to ramp up. Tomorrow is when a lot of people start preseason. Um... Good thing I just love the NFL because, like I said, I don't expect a uh, great season for my Dolphins this year, that's for sure. But uh, we'll see. Um, Rosen, I guess, is starting to perform a little better now that training camp started. But I still think Fitzpatrick starts the season. Um, I guess two offensive players that look good – are Kalen Bellage and Preston Williams, a wide receiver. So we'll keep an eye on that. You always got to take that stuff with a grain of salt. But those are the two getting high praise in camp thus far from the offensive side of the ball. So, but just a reminder for fantasy purposes, Cam Bellage might be like, ooh, that's a sneaky pick. But remember, our offensive line outside of Laramie Tunzel is bad. And we're also probably going to be playing from behind. So you got to keep all that factored in, you know, when drafting them. But if you get them, you know, later, might be worth a flyer. But I guess he looks really good. And Preston Williams, a guy out of, I think it's Colorado State. I'll be honest with you, I didn't know anything about him. But Xavier Howard even said he's been as tough as cover or whatever this camp. So, I don't know. Sometimes guys come out of nowhere. Sometimes you may never hear his name ever again. You just never know. But, uh, yeah, just thought I'd come on, make a vid. Been watching all your national recaps. Those are cool. Always like seeing the videos and stuff from that. A lot of generosity. You know, I love seeing that. Um, but, yeah, that's all I got. Um, what else? Like I said, nothing really new with me. Just been working a lot. But, uh, that's all I got. Hope you're all doing well. If you haven't made a vid in three months like me, make one. We want to see your pretty little faces every once in a while. Um, but yeah. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.